Elderly people at a Milwaukee housing complex say their cars have been the targets of criminals. Windows have been smashed, stuff just kind of thrown around, and in one case, a gun was found, was stolen. Fox 6 is Ashley Sears, live with the changes the victims they want to see made. Yeah, Ben, they are fed up that someone keeps coming into this parking lot and breaking into car windows here. Some of the elderly residents have been hit time and time again. It's extremely frustrating. Around the Merrill Park housing complex, glass shimmers on the ground, serving as a reminder of the ongoing problems here. This is really disheartening and discouraging. Zachary Johnson knows firsthand his Toyota Corolla. They went through the glove compartment. Has been broken into twice in the last month and a half. That's the window. That's how the window looked from the outside. And he's one of the lucky ones. Said I have my insurance keep going up. Jesse Thomas has had five car break-ins in the last year. The latest happening last week. Nothing was stolen this time, but that hasn't always been the case. The first. Uh, the one that they uh, broke in, they took my gun out of there. Residents like Don Carbage say their complaints and concerns have fallen on deaf ears. It's a group of us that, uh, that has been victimized and nobody's doing anything. They want that to change. They're asking for more security in a place that houses the elderly and disabled. It makes everyone feel insecure and unsafe because we never know when one of the residents might be out there. Uh, when the cars are being vandalized. Residents are tired of the crime, ready for a return to peace. We would like to have our, 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 our security. We like to be safe. We, uh, we owe the people. We need to feel secure here. A spokesperson for the Housing Authority says they are aware of the car break-ins and are working closely with MPD. They say that public safety teams regularly patrol the lot and there are working lights and surveillance cameras here. Reporting live in Milwaukee, Ashley Sears, Fox 6 News. Hopefully whoever's responsible is caught soon. All right, Ash, thanks.